The Mayeshikati says government continues to preach the dangers associated with the coronavirus and called upon the community to live within limits to minimize the spread of the disease. Respect yourself during this pandemic wherever you find yourselves. Refrain from large gatherings or kissing on the palms. Stop palm kisses. Respect the government protocols, where either it is in churches, at death and other traditional ceremonies. Respect yourselves and don't overcrowd, but be a limited number. It does not mean if you miss an occasion, you don't love your relatives, but you do. Shikat Shofur iterated his dissatisfaction regarding the 2018 Botswana-Namibia boundary treaty, calling on government to reconsider the 1890 Anglo-German boundary treaty. The German boundary treaty gave us equal opportunities and areas, but my subjects' movements are limited as per their rights in an independent country. If there was a need for a new boundary after independence, Angola, Zambia, Botswana and Namibia must sit together with their communities to see where such boundaries must be put, whether we put new ones or leave the old ones. Although appreciating government efforts in delivering basic services in some parts of the region, such as electricity and drilling boreholes, he is appealing to NORED to consider electrifying areas in his community, such as Sauzuo, Bambazi, Lianshulu, and Malengalenga, amongst others. <laughs> The Malengarenga Clinic has been a concern to us, but we are happy that the foundation is already above ground. I sent in donors there who saw the foundation, and they will request a clinic in some areas that are far away from health facilities. People are tired of traveling from Dianshulu and Sauzo and other areas, far away areas. Shufu further expressed his condolences to the Masuya traditional authority on the death of their leader, Munitenge Kiskoliswani III, and the Queen Grace Moraliswani two weeks ago. Sidilom Viana, NBC News, Katimamlilo.